Hello, my beautiful Gemini friends. I'm Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your March 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you to all of those who thumbs up, like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share, and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can book a reading with me on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me now through the description box below. If you are single, you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, including any details such as when you meet your partner, where you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, additional details that I do not share here, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your partner and your ideal relationship, book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instago app. The link for that is instago.com slash powerlifehypnosis. The links to my Instago, to my website, and a book of reading with me now are all in the description box below. And of course, my twins, this is a general reading, so if the messages do not resonate, go ahead and check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may, or you can check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos for a more complete picture of your love life during the month of March 2019. You can also cross watch the reading for your romantic interest as well as that reading may hold additional messages. So let's go ahead and get started on our reading here. I hope that all is well with you all at this time. Mwah. Much love and light to you as always. Let's get into what's going on with us for the month of March. And I'm dropping cards already. All right. Let's get into this. So I have here our theme, our two predictions. I have here our fortune and love and romance, as well as our guidance. And the guidance is going to be a little different this month as I am using a new deck or not a new deck, but a different deck this month. So twins, what's going on regarding our love lives here? All right. So first off, Regarding the overall energy, we have here the card of soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So the person who we are dealing with during the month of March, the person who we are involved with, this is a soulmate energy. So this is going to be a key relationship, a major relationship, a significant relationship. This could be a past life relationship as well. Nevertheless, however this energy resonates, this will be a soulmate, a significant, a deep relationship here. So this is an important, a key relationship. Some of us or our romantic interest may be dealing with some issues of codependency. <laughs> Excuse me. So addictions are going to be affecting our love life or affecting our romantic lives. It's weird. I've never hiccuped during a reading before. I wonder what that is signifying. For some of you, I'm feeling as though it may be your romantic interest. That may be holding this codependent energy. If you know that this is you, this is something to be mindful of. This is something to be cognizant of and aware of as being aware of this codependent and this codependency energy can make all the difference okay because we can't do anything about the things that we fail to acknowledge we can't do anything about the things that we cannot see the things that we don't want to see even if we can't see them we don't want to see them we can't heal we can't do anything with those energies with the things that we fail to see or acknowledge so for some of us it could be useful to acknowledge to understand our codependency our codependent backgrounds and work on that during the month of march so this is really an opportunity for us to work on our own codependencies if necessary or for us to work with our significant other, work with our partners, understand their background, where they're coming from, if they are the, mo the more codependent energy. But again, this could even be any kind of addiction. Okay, so this can be an addiction to a person, place, or a thing that can be affecting our romantic life during the month of 
March. So that, again, is something to be mindful of, to be careful of. And if that is something that is within our control to shift, to heal, to help, then that could be useful for us during the month of March. Let's go into our first prediction. I have here the mountains. I have here the rider as well as the bear. So the mountains, the rider, the bear. So what could this be speaking of? Before we get into what this could be speaking of, let's get into who this could be speaking of, Gemini's. So let's get into the physical description here, the description of the person. And please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So some of these messages may resonate, some may not, some may even describe yourself as well all of these messages may resonate none of these messages may resonate even if these messages do not resonate at all these details rather this does not mean that this reading is not for you this just means that you are interested in you are involved with somebody who looks unique to this description as this reading is for every gemini in the world so Please keep that in mind and we'll get into what this signifies as an actual occurrence, as an actual event, and two shakes of a lamb's tail. But before we get into what this could signify, let's get into once again the who. So the signs that I'm seeing here, the strongest are the earth signs of Taurus or Capricorn. So some of us could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn, someone rising or an Aquarius. Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. This can be the energy, the major signs of a romantic interest here. Now, I am seeing somebody here who could be somebody who is fit or strong, maybe burly. Um, this could even be somebody who's trim on the slim side with some curves. So they could be trim, but they can have muscles and muscles. You know, this could be somebody who's very fit, very ripped, very good looking. I'm seeing somebody who's good looking. I'm seeing somebody here who can have good stature, somebody with wide shoulders that may be solid in their build. Again, trim on the slim side with some curves. This could be somebody who's full of life and full of energy as well. This could be somebody with hair that is either uh, white or gray, depending on this person person's age so it can be any color um but it could also be white or gray depending on this person's age because we have the mountain card and the mountain card can speak of snow-capped mountains so that will be white or gray hair this can also be somebody who is bald or balding depending on again their age um this could be somebody who is again strong fit strong legs with this rider card the rider card represents somebody with strong legs fit legs okay so we have that energy as well so i'm seeing somebody who's more on the muscular side on the fit side and that fitness could add some curves to this person's body structure for the males this could be somebody who has facial hair um who could be a little hairy okay so what could this signify as an actual occurrence as an event now the first thing that I'm noticing here is that we do have two clubs with this mountain and this bear card. And the clubs is the most challenging suit in the Lenormand deck. So it appears as though there could be some kind of challenges, delays, blockages regarding this lover. And this lover could be... Um, showing an energy that is overbearing or uh, over possessive or bullying or overly dominant these are energies under this bear card so you may find gemini's that again during the month of march your significant other your romantic interest could be a little um overbearing or you know self-serving or just um just brash or bullying or you know just looking out for themselves overly dominant they may be doing a little too much if that makes sense you know just doing too much doing the most you know if that if that makes sense for you so for some of you, this could be somebody who comes and goes. Um, they may not have a steady, solid presence. Again, coming and going. The writer here could represent somebody who comes in quickly and leaves just as quickly. Um, if not, speaking of this person's presence, this can be speaking of a communication that this person um, sends to you. Or you could even be 
sending this type of communication to this other person because the writer card so the writer card deals with visitors okay this deals with people at a distance this can also deal with um again communication and messages coming in so this could be that either this person is at a distance is a visitor but coming in maybe coming to visit you or coming to see you or bringing their energy to you and that energy could be a little brash could be a little overbearing could be uh over uh, uh could be a little possessive a little dominant um too dominant you know not dominant in the positive way or you know some people can like that domination not dominant in that positive way but dominant in a more um uh complicated way or you know more um challenging way rather that's the energy that i was looking for challenging not com not complicated or confusing but challenging way um, so we do have here this energy of somebody bringing some kind of challenges or some kind of obstacles or maybe somebody bringing some delays or, you know, just some challenging energy through their domination, through their possessiveness, through their overbearingness. Indeed, yes. So that is the energy that I see regarding this particular individual. Now... On the flip side, okay, rich, good gentleman. Yes, this is good. High honors and meanings. So this is actually very positive because it's a saying that if you have been, or if you are experiencing or if you come across any kind of challenge, any kind of dismay, any kind of worries here, there will be a swift and sudden and easy solution. With this rich good gentleman card this is saying that a solution will occur a solution will be available and it's going to come fast and easy all right so that's a positive thing now i like that that's good that's what we want when we have challenges we want a fast and sudden and swift and easy solution to manifest to be available for us so rich good gentleman high honors meetings so it appears as though During the month of March, there will be some kind of taking things to a new level, okay? Level up. You're going to level up in some way, okay? But this isn't Mario. You're going to level up in your love life. So this rich good gentleman here could be yourself or this could be your romantic interest or your romantic partner, depending on your gender. OK, and this is saying that this rich good gentleman may bring to you or you may experience as this rich good gentleman some kind of leveling up, some kind of promotion, some kind of, you know, um, recognition, acknowledgement within this relationship, within your connection, within your coming together, seeing each other. Mm, camaraderie you know this is working together this is cooperation all these things are under this meetings card so there's going to be this high honors card say this was a career meeting a career meeting career reading this would be a promotion so this is like some kind of promotion i guess a kind of leveling up in your love and romantic relationships and this is going to occur within this connection there's lights coming in you can see the light coming in through the window so light beauty love joy romance happiness solutions positive energy coming in to this connection so that's excellent so where there were challenges there shall be challenges no more where there were challenges will now be replaced with joy replaced with happiness replaced with coming together replaced with working together you may be seeing each other getting together during the month of march so that is all good. That is all positive energy there. So we like that. We want that. Okay? So have no fear. If there were challenges, perhaps this codependency. Codependency can, you know, cause little challenges within romance, sometimes in sneaky ways. Ooh, 1444 on the clock. There's going to be a new beginning bringing some angelic healing to you all in the month of March. 
So that is excellent. I like that. I like that 1444 I just saw. Okay. That's the only time I've seen 1444 throughout all 12 readings. So that's an excellent energy there. So if there's any codependency, there's going to be angelic healing. There's going to be new beginnings. Mm, mm -hmm. There's going to be new beginnings. It's going to be some fresh new energy coming in, making things transpire in a positive way. Allowing things to unfold to your benefit. Yes. Yes. Fortune. Serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Okay. So this is a strong energy that I'm picking up here. So just know, revel, enjoy. Okay. There are bright new prospects that are on the horizon. In addition, we got some beautiful new beginnings beautiful new beginnings do i have something to write with i i do okay let me grab something beautiful new beginnings beautiful i like it i like it a lot because we have the birth card and then we have the full card these are two cards of a new journey a new beginning new beautiful things starting bringing so much wonderful energy as you move forward bright new prospects are on the horizon with the serendipity card beautiful things are going to come beautiful things are going to occur that you may feel as though how did i deserve this how did i get this these blessings you know like wow i'm so lucky yeah, i'm serendipitous this is all for you okay now birth universal energy brings you opportunity and new possibilities for have the courage to embrace change take risks be adventurous the fools card number zero in the tarot this is the beginning of the journey of a major arcana you know so this is all new beautiful things are coming with this soulmate oh, how beautiful how great is this all right you guys got some great energy here. I like it and I like it a lot. Okay. Twins. We have the overall energy here on the bottom of the deck of romance. Romance. Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. So if you have that amazing opportunity i would say opportunity because it's it's a blessing to be able to share our love share our romance share our feelings with another person you know there are so many people out there who wish that they had the opportunity to share how they feel to share their love to share their romance with another person and if you have that amazing opportunity if you have that amazing blessing share that stuff lavish lavish the person that you're with, with romance and love and joy and happiness and all those beautiful things that you are so blessed to be able to do that with. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection and look at your inner strength because you are stronger than you realize. Did you know that? If you don't know, now you know. You're stronger than you realize. So look to your inner strength and not only are you stronger than you realize not only are you stronger than you realize but you're limitless oh did you know that if you don't know now you know you're limitless twin you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything that you choose to do so whatever you want whatever you are seeking whatever is available to you whatever opportunities you have Ooh, and this is number four as well remember we kept seeing that four and i just saw 1919 on the clock a new beginning after endings new beginning after endings new beginnings after endings know that you are limitless gosh this is great i love it do you feel it i feel it do you feel it i hope you do let's feel it together let's just revel it's revel in this energy. Recognize this truth because you can do anything that you choose to, Gemini. You are limitless. Anything that you want, you shall have. Know that, okay? Just know that. And 
During the month of March, listen with your heart, okay? Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said. You're listening to what is being said, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So twins, listen with a loving heart regarding what information you received to this reading, to your conversations with your love interest, your love partner. Ooh, I see. Remember, we kept getting that one energy. We got all these ones here, these new beginnings, spiritual awakenings. Mm, I love it. I like it a lot. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. Listen with a loving heart, all right, during the month of March. And last but not least, my twins. Let's turn this right side up, huh? Dearest Gemini, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment-to-moment -moment experience? Thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it can never be found out there. It can't be found out there, you guys. Mm-mm. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You, Gemini, you are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside of you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it within your heart so that you can share it. Share that joy, share that love. You must know this. So when the time comes, you'll be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn into a beacon of starlight. Know within and be joyful even for tears and loss, for they mean you have lived. You have lived, really lived. Jump into it all, Gemini, and love every minute. Ooh. We all love you. We all love you like crazy over here. And I love you guys too. So thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope I was able to provide you all with some useful guidance and messages for the month of March 2019. Thumbs up, like this reading. If the messages resonate with you, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already so we can look into your situation for the mid-March readings. I love you all and I thank you so much and I look very forward to seeing you here again soon. So again, we'll look back into your situation for mid-March. Love you. Wish you all the best of luck. Sending you all so much love, so much light and I will see you all. <laughs> I will see you all here again soon. Mwah. All right. Bye my twin friends.